Hi guys, welcome to our Dirty D40 snorkel install. We have a tough terrain snorkel here. Got the full kit off eBay for just under $100 um, plus delivery. So we're going to whack it on and see how we go. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do, grab some masking tape. Essentially what we're going to do is the area that we're going to be working on. We'll cover that with masking tape in order to protect the surface so that we don't get any scratches anywhere where we don't want them. Alright, so now that we've got the masking done, our next step is going to be fitting up our template. So, essentially with the template, you've got to match it up to specific spots which are shown. Okay, so it'll be the back of the fender there, where you can see the, uh, the line. It's going to be the bottom of the fender in the wheel well, and it's going to be at the top where the bonnet is. So underneath, I don't know if you can see it from here, uh, my marks. So I'll pick up the camera and I'll take a quick shot of it just so you can see it up close. So the dot will be where the whole saw is going to go. And then the little crosses, those are where our bolt's going to go to hold the whole thing on. All right, wish me luck. Hopefully, unlike me, your hole won't be an abortion. I've cleaned it up. Essentially, everything that I'm cutting, I'm painting with rust guard. So it's a gloss black rust guard. I've used this stuff on nitro painting. It's really good. Um, essentially, it's an epoxy enamel. Stops any rust or anything from coming through. Dries everything out. So I've drilled some pilot holes. I've actually got to go get a bigger drill bit. You want to come back? A bigger drill bit. We'll get that done. See if we can line it up. So, as we can see, we're now finished with all the holes. They're now at nine and a half mil. I've actually fitted up the snorkel. I just had to drill the holes up here for the mount. So there's a bracket that goes over there. Now, so you get this little plastic S bend inside. I've had to use a file to open it out because it would not fit over my snorkel. So now that that's been done and it will fit over the snorkel, I've placed it in here. It's actually pretty hard to get in. Um, oh. Now, there's, there's my fully sick turbo with dump pipe. All right, so there it is going in that side and then into the engine bay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get through here or here a zip tie and that's going to hold this in place so then up from the top so if we look in for the engine bay there's an intake I've done earlier really do need to clean this up that'll polish off and the intakes gonna pretty much go straight into there and I'm going to seal that up when we finish
the boom we gonna hold again. <laughs> but we do it. So inside this little S pen, put a sensor safe sealant in there. So silicon. Yes, I'm gonna clean that up. And that'll just help seal it. So that when it's all together, it'll be watertight. Here it is. Obviously, I haven't got the top one yet, and I haven't connected it up to the air cleaner. But by changing the size of the holes to 10 mil instead of the eight and a half, I found it a lot easier to get everything to fit up and bolt up properly. Um, that would be one recommendation I'd make. Also, learn, learning how to use a hole saw. I haven't. I did it the hard way. <laughs> Just keep the thing straight, and it'll be all right. That's not what I did. Don't be me, and you'll be fine. So next I'm gonna chuck the top on. I'll give these guys a, a quick overview look of it, and then I'm gonna look at sealing it up to the air box. Our little Apollo air box is now sealed into the uh, snorkel now. I know it's only got a zip tie on there at the moment. I didn't have any large clips left. I've got obviously one on that side. Um, I just need one for this side, so that'll be something I'll grab tomorrow. Uh, but it is sealed and it's not going anywhere. Um, ultimately, the whole thing doesn't move. So if coppers look at it, it's going nowhere. So, finally finished. It wasn't that easy a job, to be honest. Um, it's my first one, but uh, yeah, I'd probably give that a, uh, a good four out of five spanners because it's just fiddly. Uh, if you're doing it by yourself, it's a bit hard. If you've got two of these, it might not be too bad. Um, but it's all done, it's all sealed, ready to go. Um, in a wheel well, all that's all back in, um, the wheel's back on, and uh, I've had enough, it's time for a beer. Well, if you like what you've seen today, even though it was a little bit of a nightmare, please subscribe, and uh, we'll have more videos coming out soon. We're still waiting for some parts for the uh, 13s for Frigor, so hopefully when they get here, we'll have some more videos on, on some stuff we're doing to that. Thanks, guys.